Ariel and I'm far. Today is January 24, 2024, National Peanut Butter Day. Our word of the week is resilient. You're, You're watching, watching Garden Newman News Network. Network. Hey Mustangs, I'm Nehemiah. Today is January 24, 2024, National Peanut Butter Day. National Peanut Butter Day recognizes an American staple in our pantries. Whether creamy or chunky, with chocolate or with jelly, peanut butter gets the recognition it deserves each year on this day. That's all for today. Let's get back to Parker and Ariana, the studio. As Mark Twain said, the very ink which, with which history is written is merely fluid with projection. Let's send it over to Muscati and see what happened on this day in history. Hey, Mustangs, I'm Muscati, and today is January 24, 2024, and on this day in history, in 1984, Steve Jobs introduced Apple's revolutionary computer Macintosh. Two days after the groundbreaking commercial in 1984 aired before a national TV audience, and heralded the product's impending release of its first personal computer. That's all for today. Let's send it back to the studio. I'm here with, my name is Ashley, and I'm here with Kinley from the Academic Bowl team. Kinley, how was your meet yesterday? Our meet went very well. We won first place at Coweta Charter Middle School, our first meet of the season. We won our first round and lost our second and came back with a win for our third. Our coaches, Ms. Cummings and Ms. Shabbat, did a great job. That's fantastic. Let's head back to the studio with Parker and Ariana. Bye, Mustangs. Hi, my thanks. I'm Roswell. This segment is the past five. I'm going to be talking to my fellow seventh graders and non-science teachers and ask five science questions to test our knowledge. First up, we have Jacob Kim. Do frogs have brains? True or false? True. That is correct. All living things have one or more cells. True or false? True. Correct. Bacteria do not have a nucleus. True or false? True. Yep, that's true. Osmosis is the movement of water. A. Or B, water sitting still. True. Or A or B. A or B. A. Correct. Five. A tool to determine the probability that offsprings will inherit a certain trait is what? A thermometer. A. B. A punnett square. A punnett square. Right. You got all five correct. Next up, we have Wilson Stroud. Question one. Do frogs have brains? True or false? True. Correct. All living things have one or more cells. True or false? True. Bacteria do not have a nucleus. True or false? True. True. Osmosis uh, so is the movement of water, A or B, water sitting still. A. Correct. A tool used to determine the probability that offspring will inherit a certain trait is what? A thermometer, A, or B, a Punnett square. Punnett square. Correct. All five. Finally, we have this part. Question one, frogs have brains, true or false? True. Correct. All living things have one or more cells, true or false? True. True. Okay. Bacteria does not have a nucleus, true or false? Does not? That's false. Incorrect. <laughs> Number four, osmosis is the movement of water, A, or B, water sitting still. Oh my gosh, it's so long. Um, B? Incorrect! <laughs> Number five. A tool, to term, a tool used to determine the probability that offspring will inherit a certain trait is what? A, a thermometer, or B, a punnett square? Punnett squares. B. Correct. <laughs> exactly. Yo, Mustangs, I'm DJ here with Miss Coborn. How are you? We're doing good. How are you? No, 
All right, so I'm coming to you guys today with DJ because we want to talk to you guys as we get started wrapping up y'all's eighth grade year and making sure you know what's all going on here at Gardner Newman. So you've heard about PBIS, right? Yes, ma'am. What's the whole thing about PBIS? What, what is that? Like, it's a shop, like, where if you do good, mm -hmm. you get PBIS points from the teachers. Right. And there's enough things to buy. Yeah. And so not only do we have the shop, but we also have different incentives, events, parties, treats. Do you know about any of those? Not really. I know you can get a pencil off of there, though. Yeah, you can get a pencil. But we also have the celebrations in the gym if you don't have any referrals for a whole month. Have you ever been to one of those? Yeah. Yeah, you have. I bet you have. So we have been to the gym, and those are still going on. We also give treats to those who are doing well with their academics. We also give treats for perfect attendance by month. And did you know that you can earn cell phone time in the cafeteria? Yeah, I heard about that with the uh, seventh graders. Yes. So do you know what you have to do to get cell phone time in the cafeteria? No. Nah. It's kind of tricky. You are not in competition with 6th and 7th grade. 8th grade makes up 37% of our school's population. Did you know that? No, ma'am. So 8th grade is the biggest grade. And if we look at all the referrals that the whole school has got, if you guys have less than 37% of those referrals... You get cell phone time in the cafeteria once a month. Yes, sir. All right, so we also have some important dates coming up. We're going on some field trips, right? Where are we going? We're going to Think Academy in LaGrange. We are going to Think Academy. So, Mr. Jeffrey's class, you guys are going to Think Academy um, this coming up Monday. So, by the time you see this, you may have already gone. Miss Wilcox, y'all are going February 5th. We are doing LHS visit on the 27th. We also have parent night and early registration. Please make sure you are at school on February 29th. There are extra save the dates on the table in the atrium of the 8th grade. I also want to talk to you guys about the 8th grade dance. Do you know what the theme is? Neon. Yep, night of neon coming up. Hopefully you guys are going to get ready to come out and have a good time. But remember that behavior matters. It counts. And we are going to have more information coming out about the dress code for that, as well as tickets coming up for sale after spring break. Okay, so please make sure you know about that. And please make sure you're always on good behavior because we do have all of these incentives. We have field day, we have the dance, and we also have all those um, field trips coming up. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have questions, and we'll see you around. That's all for this week, Mustang. Be safe all the weekend. Don't forget to be respectful, responsible, and, and ready, ready to learn. learn.